What's up everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you how to get this scary giant mouth demon bloody monster kind of thing. So if you want to learn how to do this, please keep watching. For this, I'm using a face cast that I made. They're pretty easy to make and there's a lot of tutorials out there on how to make them. I'll probably make one for my channel too, but they really help when building prosthetics. You can build it right onto the face cast, and then when it comes time to apply it to your face, it'll fit perfectly. On your face cast, use a mixture of liquid latex and flour to get this paste. Then mold it into the shape that you want for the top part of the jaw. Now for the teeth, I used multiple plastic beads that I ordered on Amazon. I'll link everything in the description, but you just throw the beads in hot water, and once they're melted, you can take them out and mold them. Just be really careful, because they get really hot. I think I made about 30 teeth for this piece. As you add the teeth, make sure to add more of the liquid latex flour mixture on the tops of each tooth, so that they look like gums. If you have sculpting tools, it'll really help. I'm using like a Ben Nye wooden spatula. So something like that works really well, but you could probably use like the back of a paintbrush too. Now we're just going to add some cotton on top of the jaw. As you go, add some liquid latex to it to blend it all together. I'm just using my fingers for this. I find that's probably the most easy way to do it. Now using a sculpting tool or whatever you have, just shape out the gum part above the teeth to make it look a lot more realistic. Now for the bottom part of the jaw. You can build this on any kind of mat that you can easily peel this off of once it dries. You're going to use the same mixture that you used for the top, and then add the teeth the same way that you did before. You'll see I ran out of liquid latex towards the end of this, so definitely make sure it's the same texture as the top part of the jaw. I ended up adding more to it the next day to fix it, so if that happens to you, you can always add more liquid latex once it dries and then let it dry again. Now when you're done building these, leave it to dry overnight and you'll be good to apply the next day. Once your jaw prosthetics are dry, it's time to apply. Take some liquid latex and put it over the part of your face where you want the jaw to go. Now just take some tissue or toilet paper and layer it at the top. I did, I think, three layers of tissue and then latex, and then tissue, then latex, and so on. Mm -hmm. 
Now, same thing goes for the bottom jaw. Just outline where you want to place it with liquid latex and put it on and then add the tissue to the sides. Same thing as before. To connect the bottom and top jaw, I'm just using cotton and liquid latex like we did before. First just add a line of latex kind of to draw out where you want it and then add the cotton. Then you can blend it in with some more latex. For this next step, I'm just using some water activated black paint. I did, I did a couple layers of this to make it look really dark. Um, yeah, so just fill in the jaw black. For the teeth, I just kind of played around with the colors because I wanted them to look gross, obviously. And so I just painted them yellow first, and the yellow was like wicked bright. So then I just went over it with like a couple different brown colors and then just do that until you get the color that you want and the color that you looks, think looks good. Now to start painting the actual jaw, start out by outlining the tops of the gums where the teeth are going in with like a dark red color. For this part, I'm just using some cream makeup that I had. I used a bunch of reds and browns and mixed them together and I'm just using a sponge to do that. Since my eyes and eyebrows were the only makeup I had on, I didn't want to be completely ugly like the rest of my body right now, so I am just adding some foundation to the rest of my face. Now using that same black color, you're going to want to go in again above the teeth and outline the gums, and then use a sponge to blend it all out. Now time for the best part when you can really make it all bloody and disgusting. I'm using a stipple sponge to apply stage blood all over the outside of the jaw, my face, and then the teeth as well. Now go in with some thick blood or scab blood. I add this directly on the teeth by the gums or wherever you want to make it look a little bit more gory. Now we're all done. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.